So then we started uh, with this whole sort of interest in theoretical fiction and uh, to have a sense that you can actually analyze contemporary culture uh, through fiction. We came upon um, this uh, incredible novel that many people know, but that has a very strong literary, philosophical, and uh, cultural actuality uh, today, we thought. Flaubert's 1856 novel, Madame Bovary, which is, in our view, a prophetic masterpiece. It tells us everything that's wrong with contemporary society. And so we thought we should make a work based on anachronism, out of respect for the original work. Most people make historical dramas and beautiful costumes and all that puts you at an aesthetic distance. And we believe that uh, that is wrong because the novel is very contemporary. It's totally contemporary in its time. And all, even the details of all the references to other cultural expressions, like the opera, books, etc., is all of that time. So we thought that it would actually be betraying the novel to make it historical, and we put it in the present. Also because we believe that there is a very strong relevance today. So what we tried to do was make a work that is based on Quotation. The, most of the script, there are just a few new scenes that we had to actualize, but most of the script is totally, literally quotation from the novel. And the challenge was to make as much as possible out of that uh, quotational practice. And so we want to talk today about uh, quotability. What forms of quotation can you uh, bring to? Uh, something. This is our first uh, interest. And again, please feel free to interrupt, raise questions, etc. So here we go. Um, I think this is me again, right? Anachronism. Okay, so we started with the idea of uh, anachronism as indispensable uh, because the image is remade every time someone sees it. So it's basically always the case that an image that you see happens then, at the moment you see it. So what we think about Flaubert's actuality is in fact generalizable to uh, all art. And uh, we uh, are just showing you some cases of anachronistic dress. It's totally contemporary. And then suddenly there is this historic, a bit historical hat from the 1920s. And the male costumes uh, are also very, uh, uh, you know, very contemporary in the top uh, range here, and then suddenly we put him in a cape with a hat, so that you realize that it's not about a realistic depiction of today, but just about reaching out to contemporariness uh, from the past, with the past, into the present. And that is um, the reason that the costumes are the way they are. But there are other ways of quoting. And then we also quoted different artists, as this too is a form of loyalty to Flaubert's novel. For example, Maya Duren's experimental avant-garde film At Land from 1944, which may seem out of touch with the novel, but um, the novel itself is replete with quotations from earlier discourses, in this case early 19th century romanticism, which clashed with the contemporary deriv derivative motifs, motifs and discourses of the characters. Similarly, at Land shows that Duren acts as an instigator whose presence in various landscapes causes one to question who is actually responding to whom, the landscape or her presence within it. Like Flaubert's derivative romanticism, there is a contemporary derivative avant-gardism in the contemporary cinema. We would choose Lars von Trier's Melancholia as an example of this. Um, quoting um, this other artist is in tune with Flaubert's writing um, for that reason, and what we're actually quoting here is the enigmatic performance of the relationship between landscape and figure. And you will see that in the installation on those photographs in yeah. the, the, the corridor to the last uh, scene, where you also have the figures in the landscape. And we'll, we'll come back to some more examples of yeah. using Duren, but you can see visually here that we're already exploring it. 